Hi guys, thanks so much for watching. Just a quick message to all of you guys who haven't heard yet, we are having a big Mapuai Squad giveaway. I'm flying you, yes, you, you, you out there, to the Philippines. For full contest details, be sure to read the description box. All right, and now to the vlog. Come on, guys. Now, Mabuhay Squad, I have a special announcement. Mm -hmm. Great announcement. Um, and it's been a long time. You guys have been asking about this. Mm -hmm. We've read your comments. And so now, it is time for me to break the official news. Mm -hmm. Mabuhay Squad, the announcement is... That this cage is now called the Dragon's Den. Yeah! Hey Gaia! The Mabuhay Squad has officially called your beautiful bird mansion the Dragon's Den. Mm-hmm. I like that name actually. That's a great name. Because of our dragon, our silver and crimson blood red tailed dragon. And I love the Dragon's Den. Which by the way was her early Christmas gift. Mm-hmm. What's the guys? Look at her eating from her bowl. I am so proud. Um, also, a lot of you guys expressed concerns um, about her possibly um, hurting herself or even killing herself with this cage design because sadly, uh, I believe it's been going around the parrot community that a cage like this, not this exact cage, but a cage like this that opens from the top, sadly killed a macaw and I believe maybe a cockatoo as well. I'm not sure, but I heard a, a parrot has passed away due to this design with it trying to get out somehow and it choked itself. That's sad, that's scary. So what we've done now is when I close this, I make sure that one, it's hooked with this clip I, so that there's no way it can open even a little bit for her head to stick out. But also, I only close this at night when she's gonna sleep, when the cover is on. So she, like, she has no reason to stick her head through any bars. Not that her head can fit through any of these bars anyways. So if you have this kind of cage, all you parrot owners that opens from the top, beware. Make sure that it's really secure mm -hmm. when it's closed. And that it's secure when it's open as well. I believe someone messaged me saying her macaw broke its neck. I don't know if this was that same macaw that people were talking about, but broke its neck. Um, it had fallen. It's so, it's so scary actually. This here is really secure. Gotta be safe, right? Safe with our babies. Mm -hmm. Yes, taking a walk now. The guy flew to the window. She wants to go for this walk, which is good timing because it does look like it's gonna rain. It's gonna rain, right? Now, for those of you who are just joining us, my name is Mikey Bustos. This here is Legaya, my African gray parrot. We are living here in Manila, Philippines. Mm -hmm. um, and welcome to my daily vlogs. Daily positive vibes, always, right? So, oh, that scared me. It scared me and Legaya. It was an ambulance. Don't worry, Legayas. I'm happy you didn't take off and fly. Um, hold on. Let me cross this street. <laughs> Don't want to die. Thank you. Oh, and three. Ah! Okay. As I was saying, daily vlogs. Feel free to hit the like button if you enjoy this vlog. Subscribe to join the family if it feels right. Yes. So if you're just joining us and you missed yesterday's vlog, we said bye to Lawrence Lam, my high school buddy. Like, I didn't have very many friends in high school. I did not feel like a popular kid with lots of friends and all that. In fact, I kind of dreaded and had anxiety in high school. I just wanted it to pass by so fast. I went to church every lunch, instead of eating lunch, to pray to be famous so I could be delivered from the hell that was high school. Anyways, Lawrence made high school a bit bearable because, I mean, he was my friend. One of my two friends in high school. He had visited me from Seattle, where he lives now, um, and we had to say bye to him. He's flying back to Seattle. Uh, ew, right? <laughs> Cardi B. Uh, and it was, uh, it was great to have him here in Manila. It's always great seeing people from your past, right, and catching up. Um, and reconnecting and rehashing those memories, isn't it? Man, 
I cannot believe we graduated 18 years ago, almost 19 years ago. Unbelievable. But that was really nice to be able to say hi to an old friend, right? You just pooed and not on me. Thank you, the guys. All right. Another thing that I love about Lawrence is that he has this special skill to keep in touch with people from his past. Like, that's not easy. <laughs> If it weren't for Lawrence, I would have pretty much no connection to like my high school years, seriously. He knows what's going on with everybody from my high school. Like he just has some very good talent at keeping in touch. Do you guys keep in touch with your high school or elementary school friends? Isn't it hard to keep in touch? I find. So that was really cool to be able to hear what's been up with some of my other classmates from like years ago, two, two decades ago, you know what I'm saying? The guy loves these walks. She loves looking around. She loves absorbing all of the essential sunlight. So loud. The guy is used to all of these loud sounds which normally would freak birds out because she's been doing this for a while now. The guy, you are so good at dealing with all of this stimulation. I am so proud of you. My boy squad, our dragon, seriously, is coming into her own and becoming quite a pleasant and well-rounded bird. <laughs> she agrees. She's like, yeah, ow. Now for those of you who may be watching these vlogs thinking, I've always wanted a bird, a parrot like that. I want one like Ligaya. Well, to those people I say, do watch the vlogs. Um, there is a playlist, which you'll see at the end of this vlog, where you can follow my, our daily journey since I got her as like a chick. And I'm telling you, it's a lot of work. A lot of work, a lot of in time investment, sleepless night or sleepless mornings, <laughs> problem solving, money spent. Part of the reason why I wanted to vlog this entire experience was to also educate other people as to what goes into rearing a well-rounded bird. It is a lot of work. It's like a child, really. The more you put into the child and invest in spending time with them and socializing them and all of that, the more well-rounded the child becomes. It applies to birds too, guys. She's in a cuddly, kissy mood right now. Mm, cuddly bird. She's hooking my mouth. You're hooking my mouth. Hooking my mouth. Isn't this the most cuddly bird you ever did see? Mm. Wow, wow, wow. Mm? The bully squad. They're, they're watching you. All your godparents out there. Mm -hmm. You have lots of godparents. Watch you grow up. Mm -hmm. These kisses and cuddles are from them. Thousands of godparents. Good girl, Ligaya. She is so okay with stepping up to at the LC. Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Such a good girl now, eating your solids. Look at you. <laughs> Wagging her tail. She's loving those seeds, those pellets, those nuts. So healthy. Mm -hmm. Now I've also put it, um, some chamomile tea in a bowl. No longer need to use the syringe to feed it to her. She can drink the tea on her own. And she's gonna take a drink of the tea now. Yes, whoops, whoops. Chamomile making you sleepy. <laughs> wow. I love that my bird is a tea drinker. Mm -hmm. She also, by the way, has fresh water here in case she wants just the fresh water and um she's finished that gruel so she's moved on to there i'll be replenishing that gruel around 2 p.m and again in the evening i love how independent she is now like it's great yes she comes to me for love kisses snuggles for the walk outside but i mean in terms of the basics she can handle on her own, which is great. Um, getting close to Ate Elsie now, she's slowly coming into her own parrothood, you know what I mean? Um, and less dependent on me, uh, which is good because this month, as expected, very busy for us. 
first of all, tomorrow, I've got a show here in Manila. What am I gonna do? I, I mean, I have not vocalized. I'm gonna spend all of today vocalizing. But we'll have to leave and fly very, very soon. So, I'm more confident in Legaya being able to take care of herself, right? Um, of course, in the company of Ate Elsie and uh, RJ's sisters. Um, when we're gone, uh, particularly in Seattle, it'll be a five-day getaway. We will also ask Jaya or someone to vlog Legaya. Mm -hmm. uh, so that should be cool. We'll be able to switch back and forth between Manila and Seattle. Legaya, can you manage five days without me? That makes me sad. But you seemed pretty okay when I was gone for Cebu. I would have loved for you to squawk in my ear nonstop as if you were crying, but she didn't. She was just like, where were you? I almost forgot about you. Eyes, you're holding mine. She's singing with me. Baby, I'm dancing in the dark with you between my arms. Barefoot on the grass Listening to our favorite song Carry more than just my secrets To carry birds To carry cages Of our own We are still kids Oh, but she peed right now She eats so much Like a cow I know I'll be alright this time Sing! And hold my hand Be my bird, I'll be your human I see my future in your eyes Baby, I'm dancing in the dark With you between my arms Grass. Listening to our favorite song When I saw you in that coat of feathers <laughs> Alright Ligaya, this is an old song Don't know if you would know this Ooh yeah, yeah mm, What did you think I would do at this moment When you're standing before me with tears in your eyes Trying to tell me that you Have found you another You just don't love me no more I think I'll see you here, it's time for lunch mm. You see, this is how I know Legaya will be in good hands The bird willingly flew to Ate Elsie Because she thought that I the hell he was going to make a blend for her. He's going to make the gruel. Soon, one more hour, and your second gruel installment is coming. Good, good, good. Love this. I the he's talking to her, sharing water. Oh. <laughs> this has been a long journey in the, in the making, this relationship between my helper and the bird. All right, look at you, the guys. Playing with that bottle cap. <laughs> you see, with perseverance and consistency, eventually birds that are said to be one person birds can become multiple people birds. Mm -hmm. How about a little Filipino music, the guys? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here we go. Bano. Ang puso kong ito Ngayon lumisan ka Sa buhay ko Kung kailan Sumikat ang araw Umigaya ang aking mundo. All right, boy squad. 
The bird is asleep. She's in bed. I'm here filming France Canada, but look at how beautiful, if I do say so myself, this desert oasis terrarium is. Isn't it gorge? Gorge, 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 hmm? I'm sure if you guys are AC family, you've seen this video already. Maybe you haven't, I don't know. But just completed it and I'm uh, about to shoot it now. It looks so good on camera. Oh, ho, ho. I love doing this. Like designing terrariums was another one of my dream jobs. And I guess in a way it is my job because I do it for the Ants Canada channel. But I would love to landscape and terrariumscape for people. You know what I'm saying? Like as a service. Like you know that show Tanked? I would love to do that except with terrariums for people. That would be a dream. But anyways, this here is a terrarium which is supposed to be dry. It's for tarantula actually. Um, and these plants are fake. Bought them tonight at a store. I like fake sometimes because, look, no maintenance, right? It would be impossible to grow succulents like this and keep it looking beautiful in this kind of setup. Um, the tarantula needs it dry. Uh, it's a green bottle blue tarantula, which live in the deserts of like Venezuela. So they like it dry. They don't like it wet. So they need like, see this dry coconut husk? That kind of stuff. Dry, dry, dry. Little bit of moisture down there. She will also have a bowl, but I'm going to uh, place the tarantula in now. Mm-hmm. OMG, guys. So you won't believe what I just discovered tonight. So I put the tarantula into her new beautiful oasis, but I just discovered that she had a bad molt. Now, a few days ago, she shed her skin and I was looking at it and I'm like, wow, cool, great, amazing. But I couldn't see it was incomplete. Like I couldn't see the carapace, like the head that pops off when they shed. Turns out it's still on the tarantula. For those of you who are coming from AC family from the future, you guys already know this. But OMG, I had to like put water on a Q-tip and like dab it on the end where I felt like it was stuck. I don't know what happened. So I also um, put a little bit of water in there, moistened the medium. Hopefully she's able to get rid of it. But if not, it does seem like she might be able to survive with it stuck to her. I don't know. I've been doing research online and some people say to pull it off. Some people say to just leave it. It'll fall off on its own. So I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave her alone. I, I put water there. So if it falls off, it falls off. If it doesn't, I'm just, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pull it off. I'm afraid it might damage her. Poor, poor spider. Oh. All right, my boy squad. It's the moment of truth. It's the big day. Thank you. It's show day. Yes. Here we go, my boy squad. This is going to be an adventure. 